Hey guys, so today I want to discuss my own personal views of the Tarkir storyline, how it progressed and where the plane stands as of right now. I've covered a lot of lore regarding Tarkir, and I think it's about time to collect my thoughts and give my opinion on the storyline as a whole. The Tarkir story arc was pretty unique when it comes to Magic the Gathering in comparison to previous sets, while also staying very familiar. It was similar in the fact that we of course got different groups based on different combinations of mana which gave all the clans distinct personalities. This has been done time and time again, but it was different in that we got two separate factions which spanned the entire block. In Khans we had the Warring Clans, in Dragons we had the Ruling Dragon Lords, and the middle set, Fate Reforged, explained how we got to that point. It was interesting to see in one block the focal point of the story go from the human cons to their dragon counterparts. While people unfamiliar with the story can oftentimes misinterpret the game as being plainly simple, white is good, black is evil, yada yada, MTG rarely ever follows these classic fantasy tropes. With that being said, the Tarkir block definitely made many of us scratch our heads over what we wanted for the storyline. This leads me to the most difficult debate of the entire Tarkir story arc, cons or dragons? Since the story was divided, showing us the history of the human clans and then showing us the dragon clans, Wizards of the Coast really left us all to ask which do we prefer? It's a common question asked in the community. I mean, half of the comments on some of my videos are often followed by a clan's name for life or long live the dragons. So which one should we pick? It sounds like an opinionated answer should follow, but really, which one is better for the plane of Tarkir? Both the human cons and dragon lords alike span the entire mana spectrum, so we can't really say one is objectively good or objectively bad, so how can we answer this question? In the lore of Tarkir, it is often referenced that the extinction of the dragons was a bad thing for the plane overall. The humans got to rule, yes, but their constant infighting left the world blood-soaked and brutal. Also mentioned was the fact that the dragons made the humans stronger as a result of their conflicts, and losing the dragons caused the post-extinction humans to become weak. On the other hand, the dragon lords who replaced the Khans seemed to fulfill similar roles to their human counterparts, with the added consequence of slaughtering thousands of them in order to get them to bend the knee. Some dragon lords, such as Silumgar and Atarka, could be considered worse than the cons they replaced. The dragons also rule as dictators, they and their broods ruling absolutely, not even bothering to talk in the human language because it's so far beneath them. All this leads to the question, is Tarkir better with dragons? The worst thing about a Tarkir without dragons, besides Ugin being dead, was the fact that the clans fought and killed each other all the time. With the dragons in power, What's changed? The dragons and the new dragon clans fight each other just as much, and with more devastation than ever. So if nothing really improved, why did the story try so hard to implant in our minds that the dragons were better? It's probably just because the story needed Ugin to live, and wizards didn't want anyone hating the dragons or the fact that they basically killed off all the iconic cons from the first set. You can't blame them, the story was planned to go a certain way from the very beginning, and it had to be followed through but it was still kind of lame that they tried to hide this bias under a rug, making heavy-handed remarks on how a world of dragons was better when it really was nothing different. In a set about changing everything, reforging an entire plane's history, Tarkir really had very little change. Before Fate Reforged, people were killed and wars were fought, and after this supposed change, people were killed, dragons were killed, and wars were fought. And still, they said that this was the world that was supposed to be. The world of Ugin and Sarkon Vol, the world of the dragons and the clans. This is another aspect of the story of Tarkir I don't truly understand. The end result was supposed to be a culmination of Sarkon's efforts to revive Ugin and create the Tarkir of his dreams. A Tarkir of united clans and dragons. The end result was anything but. Rather than being united, I would say that the clans were definitely subjugated. So as it stands right now, I am a man of the cons, but this is just a personal opinion. Really, there would be no difference if I chose the cons or the dragons because they both fulfill the same role. Tarkir is no different from these events in my eyes, while the multiverse is significantly impacted by the events of Fate Reforged. Tarkir may remain the same, but 
Ugin being saved is a huge deal, and certainly something I can side with. If the question of cons versus dragons is so pointless to answer, then why do I choose the cons? Well, even though it may not matter, there are still some hints and unanswered issues which lead me to speculate the future of Tarkir and a return of the cons. For example, after Dromoka rose to power, she forcibly ended the practice of kin trees by the absent people. They eventually agreed, only after much infighting and bloodshed. But now, at the end of the story arc, we see that the former absent people are once again beginning to embrace this forgotten practice, thanks in part to the ghostly efforts of the Kintry spirit Anafenza. And in the former Saltai people, we see the Naga being ruled by Silimgar, their natural desire for power and wealth always being halted by their dragon lord, but we find that some of his servants are getting restless. Sidisi was killed and brought back by Selimgar, and now she waits to take her vengeance. So, in a few of the dragon clans, we can see some turmoil brewing. Is it enough to say that the clans will rise up and overthrow their dragon lords? Eh, maybe. I for one would find it a very interesting turnaround to the story, having the cons, then the dragons, then the cons again. Better yet, it would be cool if only some of the clans revolted, leading to an open dialogue between humans and dragons which could lead to a truly united Tarkir. Overall, I did enjoy the story of Tarkir, really I did, I just don't think it ended as well as it could have. I know I'm probably going to get a lot of flame for asking this question for the comments, but which side are you on, the cons or the dragons? Which in your opinion was better at ruling over Tarkir? Let me know that in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share, and sub to the channel. It goes a long way in supporting future content. As always guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.